Flying can be a pain in the butt, but it's necessary. So from finding the right flights before you buy to managing the details of your trips to navigating airports, here's how to make flying easier. I'm Callie Lewis, welcome to Geepy. This episode of Geepy TV is brought to you by Carbonite. I'm gonna try and take out all the pain of flying for you. Well, except for the TSA screenings, I got nothing there. The first things first, booking a flight. Most people have gotten used to booking flights in a purely task-oriented way with no emotion involved. After all, flights are just flights, right? Just book it and be done with it. But are flights just flights? Aren't some flights better than others? I can certainly vouch for that idea. I've been on great planes and horrible planes and it makes a big difference in your attitude. That's why Route Happy gives you a happiness score along with prices when you're booking. A flight with a happiness score of 9.4 is better than one with a score of 7.5 for sure. Then you can decide if you're willing to pay the difference in price, if there is even one. They score based on better, newer planes, roomier seats, flyer ratings, power available for your gadgets, and Wi-Fi availability. This puts you in control again. This information comes from their user base, 5,000 so far and growing, and their flight genius experts research, sorts, and maintains all of the info coming in to make sure the data is accurate and fresh. The more you, of you guys who participate, the better the information will be ultimately. You'll want to book on their website and then you can use the iOS app to review flights as you take them. Android app coming soon. In order to manage your flight, hotel, and car reservations, use TripIt. You've probably heard about this one, it's pretty popular, and for a good reason. You email TripIt your reservation emails. The service takes all the information in that email and turns it into an easy to read itinerary for you. It's all automatic with no work on your part. They have apps for iOS, Android, Blackberry, and Windows Phone. Once your travel day arrives, there are two things you can do to have all the info you need at your fingertips. Of course, you can have the app from your individual airline. I think at this point, there's an app for all the major airlines. I highly suggest having that for mobile boarding passes and just as backup, if nothing else. But you can also have Gate Guru on your phone. You'll see all the details of your flight, departure and arrival gate, departure time, flight time. But what I like about this one is that it also gives you all the info you need about your airports a map of the airport in case you have to transfer a plane so you know how far you have to go, a list and a map of all the amenities in the airport if you need to buy something or grab a quick bite to eat, or maybe some ice cream. Oh, that sounds good. I want ice cream. Mm. Yeah. They've even integrated rental car information for you. And if you're a stats kind of person, you can see just how much you've spent in the air, how many airports you've been in, all that stuff, just for fun. They have apps available on iOS, Android, and Windows phone. If you prefer seeing gate information like they display it at the airport, download Flightboard. It resembles the boards you use at the airport and you can click through to see more info about the airport and share the information via email or whatever. It's on iOS and Android. Have you ever had a situation where you left your laptop somewhere like in security? You literally just walked away from it on the belt? Scott Ellis did that one. Or in the hotel room, checked out and got on a plane and didn't even realize it? Amazingly, I've done that. I don't know how. <laughs> you might be able to recover it and get it back mailed to you, but then you're days away from accessing the data on your computer. It's horrible. But not if you have all that data set up for automatic online backup with Carbonite. You could just hop on your desktop at home and recover the data so you don't skip a beat. Go to Carbonite.com and use offer code GeekBeat for a free trial in two months if you buy. Let me know what apps you use to make your travels easier. Thanks to everyone who already chimed in on Twitter. I'm always listening at Kelly Lewis or Google.com slash plus Kelly Lewis. Bye! And Windows Phone. Once your travel day arrives, there are two things you could do to maybe make the prompter go slower. <laughs> because I can't quite read that fast. That's crazy. It's just like I've just been doing just kind of yeah. down and all of a sudden. And then you just go, shoot, I'm out of here.